Hello everyone, welcome back on session 3 on CATIA Sketcher Workbench. So in this session we are going to see about uh, introduction to Sketcher Workbench like uh, how to enter into a Sketcher Workbench uh, as I already shown how to enter into a Sketcher Workbench in previous videos. So in this session we will discuss about uh, what is basic sketching and position sketching, what, what are the advantages of position sketch over basic sketching and apart from that we will discuss on profile creation using a profile as well as predefined profiles like circle, spline, conic, line, point, axis system and we will understand uh, sketch tools like how to use, use the sketching, uh, sketching tools under that we will discuss about creating a construction as well as standard elements and applying geometrical and dimensional constraints and understanding the selection filter toolbars so apart from that we are going to see a visualization toolbar so it is one of the these features are uh, very important features in CATIA sketching workbench so under visualization toolbar we are going to see a cut part by sketch plane uh, how to cut the part uh, to see the uh, section view uh, in the uh, by using the sketch plane and as well as 3d element visualization 2d element visualization we are going to see what are these visualizations how it helps to create the sketching sketcher workbench or sketches and apart from that we are going to see what is diagnostics and under that uh, dimensional constraints as well as geometrical constraints so let's let's start with these features so before that i'm going to explain you people about some tips so uh, let's start with katia workbench over here i will just click on the start button so as i explained just go to mechanical design so you can directly enter into a sketcher workbench or you can enter into a part design workbench even though if you click sketcher workbench it will take you to the part design from there you need to select the plane or respective axis system or axis plane in order to enter into respective uh, 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 plane uh, as a normal to you to create the sketch so right now i will click on part design so as i shown you it will pop up a dialog box so you can enter the name of the part whatever you are you are you want to save it as so don't worry about this hybrid design and create geometrical set we are we, we will see in the part design workbench or uh, surface workbench how these options help us to make a parametric model so i will just click on ok so right now you are in part design workbench so okay before that uh, i will explain uh, how to insert the access system so some industries will you prefer uh, will prefer access system over plane plane systems depending on their uh, standards so right now we will see as both so in the last videos i have shown you a, uh, i have explained regarding planes these are the default planes so i will just hide these planes so I have set uh, the short key for uh, planes like a space bar so that I can hide it directly. I will explain how to set it in the upcoming videos uh, short key we are going to use regularly. So right now I want to insert the axis system. So just click on insert and click on axis system. So okay this is the dialog box popping up for axis systems. So this is the option you can uh, in th this is how you can insert the axis system so so how to use this axis axis system effectively uh, for the uh, to make a parent children uh, relation with this axis system in the coming uh, part design workbench i will explain in detail about uh, usage of this axis system uh, like we can we can isolate the axis system what we inserted so we can uh, we can create a our we can create our own point and we can we can make it as default coordinate systems and we can give the coordinate values to make that point as parametric for that point we can insert this axis system so that whenever we create any parametric features uh, it will consider uh, we can make it as point and axis system as parent for that entire model so it is very much effectively used for some advanced features like power copy and all we will see in the upcoming upcoming uh, videos when when we will start with the uh, part design workbench or surface workbench how this 
how this access system can be used very much effectively we can use multiple access systems that's what it gives the more advantages compared to uh, uh, access uh, plain plain systems so just as uh, as of now just uh, understand how to insert the access system and how to create the access systems how to use it we will see in the next videos so apart from that uh, over here one more point i am going to explain you people like how to make a specification tree uh, uh, enlarge or decrease the size so uh, we need this uh, this trick uh, uh, while working with the uh, part model or assembly so right now our uh, workspace is active so here you can see a coordinate system once once you click on that so right now your access system will become active so when you zoom the tree when you zoom the space bar tree will get zoom in zoom out so you can adjust the size as according to you so right now tree is in active active so again after enlarging or decreasing the size as per your visualization you can again hit back on the coordinate uh, system over here so right now your space bar is active so this is how you can increase the uh, specification tree size as per your requirement or else instead of that you can hit on this line this vertical line you can click it you can enlarge it or you can decrease it so again click on that line this vertical line so that it become deactive your workspace become active this is one point what i am going to explain you people so we will see uh, uh, sketching tools how to use these sketching tools in the next video thank you thank you for watching